Hey guys, this is Pep Traveri. You probably would have expected a Smash video instead of this today, but Nintendo did release their plans for Smash DLC, the E3 Direct, and uh, the Smash Direct for this weekend. So I'll be trying to cover most of the announcements that come out of E3, not only for Nintendo though, but also for all, uh, any of the developer companies that have conferences, and for Sony as well. Uh, so, I wanted to announce a couple of things, so first of all, uh, is that I now have a PS4. So, look forward to Let's Play some videos on that platform, as well as the Nintendo ones that have been going on so far. And, um, well, the first one of those will be The Last of Us Remastered, and it'll be coming after I finish Mario Party 10 and Splatoon single player campaign, so that's not a ways off, to be 100% honest. The second announcement, though, is that I'll be starting to stream uh, a lot more often when my summer school ends. So please stay tuned for news about that. It's not too long now. I'm halfway through summer school, so that's a thing. But anyways, uh, today's video is going to be about Super Smash Bros. Direct this Sunday. Uh, so let's start. Uh, well, of course it's going to talk about Lucas, because it's right before Lucas's release. Uh, so it's going to talk about Lucas, the Miiver stage, and the Splatoon costumes um, right away. So those are the things that are getting released that day. Those are going to get talked about at the very least a little bit. Uh, then you got your new your expectations. Here's where predictions start. So, uh, of course, uh, being that there is a three-month gap in between Mewtwo and Lucas, I mean, it would be pretty dumb from Sakurai or from the team not to be working on the next DLC character at the same time as Lucas as they were doing with Mewtwo. They started working on Mewtwo, it's like solo for a little while and then they started working on Lucas halfway through or I don't know when and it was being worked on side by side with Mewtwo so when Mewtwo was released there was a trailer ready for Lucas. Uh, and then now that Lucas is being released three months later I predict there will be trailers for not only one new DLC character but for many DLC characters that will come uh, three months from now uh, or at the very least one will come three months from now uh, from now at the very least two or uh, two or three characters will be announced during this Smash Direct because having this Direct just to say oh Luke is getting released here's the next character uh, doesn't really add up so that uh, revealing two or more characters I think would be uh, pretty nice uh, so yes nothing on nothing really far-fetched like oh here's the winners of all the Smash Ballot so thank you all for participating I don't think that will be the case uh, a lot of people think that Ryu from Street Fighter and Roy from Fire Emblem are gonna be announced as a next DLC thing uh, pack I don't really think all that much about Ryu, I mean, we already got our Capcom representative, which is Pac-Man, uh, I mean, uh, Mega Man, um, and Ryu seems like a weird addition right now, because they didn't do that right from the get-go, so, I don't know, I don't know what to think about that, maybe it's Ryu Hayabusa from, I don't know, uh, from Ninja Gaiden, I don't think, I don't think that's all that much in the, into the realm of possibility right now. Uh, Ryu from Street Fighter is a little bit more possible, but I don't think they're gonna do that, at least not now. Uh, however, I do think that they will be starting with some first party or um, third party small characters from the Smash Ballot. So probably if they announce more, more than one character, uh, it could be something probably akin to King K. Rool or Shantae or uh, some other characters, for example Shovel Knight, some other characters uh, on that, or if we can hope for miracles then maybe Banjo Kasui, uh, Banjo and Kasui can be announced uh, if, if that got suggested enough on the ballot and Nintendo is actually willing to um, do Banjo Kasui uh, for Mirrorware which is owned by Microsoft on Nintendo um, that would be amazing, it would be a miracle and it would be the, uh, just, just great uh, but if that's not the case, then uh, I wouldn't go so much for Roy and Ryu, but rather for Wolf as the next semi-clone to be brought back from uh, previous Smash titles, because, I mean, we already got a ton of Fire Emblem characters, and Roy is actually a clone, plus we already got a Marth clone uh, right now, which is Lucina, so I wouldn't really count all that much into having another clone right now when they could 
bring semi clones back. Uh, semi clones, if you guys don't know what they are, are something more akin to Lucas, for example, or Falco. Falco is a semi clone of foxes uh, because they are characters that have very similar uh, s uh, special moves. For example, uh, Lucas's PK Fire uh, is very similar to Ness's, except for the fact that the effect is different. And PK Freeze is similar to PK Flash, but the effect is different. Uh, Lucas's P PSI Shield is actually different. It is on the front. It is very similar, of course. It's on the front, and it deals damage when you deactivate it. And of, the, of course, the PK Thunder goes through enemies, whereas Ness's doesn't go through enemies. So those are different, and that's why Lucas is Ness's semi-clone. Their special attacks are very similar, but they are not the same. Plus, they have very different uh, regular attacks. So that's a semi-clone. A clone like Lucina has very similar regular attacks, like pretty much the same, and um, they have the same, the exact same special attacks. But there's the difference that one of them has a tweak onto their damage or their jump or their I don't know something gameplay related, but it's very minor. There's a little tweak over there. That's a clone. So uh, I would think that Wolf would make sense to bring back from Brawl and that would be a very good semi-clone to bring back. So, uh, apart from that, I think we'll be hearing a lot more from stages, probably. Now that the Miiverse stage is getting released, probably they will dedicate a little bit uh, a little bit of time on the Direct to talk about stages, such as Nintendo 64 stages or um, Melee stages. Probably not so much as Brawl stages, because there were, there were a ton of Brawl stages in the 3DS version. Or probably talking about uh, 3DS uh, and Wii U stages, like being you being able to buy a compatibility pack so that you can play some 3DS stages on the Wii U and some Wii U stages on 3DS. I don't know. It doesn't really look all that um, all that possible to me. I just think it's, if they do DLC stages, it will be N64 stages, for example, or Melee stages that didn't make it to the 3DS version or the uh, or the Wii U version. So probably that. And speaking of stages, the stage creator could get an update or a patch to add more options to the builder because being 100% honest, the stage builder on Super Smash Bros. for Wii U is not all that big. It doesn't have a lot of options. I mean, it's really cool that you can draw your things and do platforms and whatever, but it's very limited. And uh, people have done incredible things with the stage creator so far, but I would like to see more options added to those stage creators and see how people take that to the next level and their creativity to the next level because that would be awesome. People have been very creative so far and having some some more options over there can could really blow it up. Like it they they could really make this a gigantic thing for Super Smash Bros for Wii U. So that would be amazing to have a stage creator um update or a stage creator pack or patch so that you can get more options, different platforms, different types of terrain, different uh, backgrounds, something like that. It would be really, really cool. And apart from that, we should really also be looking forward to some news on the tourneys and or tournament mode that was uh, that were announced at the same time as the Mira stage. Uh, because those two modes have been, uh, have been on the works for a while now and we haven't heard a lot about them, uh, just that they are still on the works. So, probably getting a release date for those, I'm thinking September, along with uh, the next DLC batch of characters. But uh, I'm thinking September for that, and uh, tourneys in tournament mode, tourneys in the, in the way that Mario Kart handled some, some tournaments, and tournament mode, just a local uh, turns multiplayer, uh, e expanding it to support 8-player Smash would be amazing. I don't know. They will. They will more than probably detail both those modes um, during that during the direct, and um, we could probably expect a couple of extra modes for download. Probably something more uh, platform, beat them up, mash up, uh, coming to the Wii U version because Smash. To be one hundred percent honest, Smash Run is way better than the extra mode on the Wii U. So Smash Run, uh, something akin to Smash Run, or maybe by stages or something like that, coming to the Wii U as a downloadable mode, um, or maybe something 100% original, maybe something more akin to Target 
test from Brawl because obviously they're not going to start working on the target test, the King to Melee and the original Smash Bros when there's more than 51 characters to go through. Uh, so I don't think they will be doing that, but probably something akin to Brawl which is just, okay, here's five stages, use the characters however you want and just destroy all of these. So probably something like that, small modes adding up to the experience, uh, nothing with cutscenes akin to the subspace emissary because that would be way too much work. Uh, first of all, then it would be way too much space because it would be all on a download. So it's way too much space, way too, way too much work uh, for such little time since the, the game was released. And I don't see that happening because that was the main reason why there was not a story mode on Wii U akin to the Subspace Emissary. They did not want cutscenes being uploaded to the internet. So those are, those are the modes that I see happening. Just um, something akin to target test or something akin to Smash Run for the Wii U and something akin to uh, the board game on the Wii U version for the 3DS or something like that. Expanding on the 3DS game modes would be amazing too because it, it seriously seems limited so probably special ma special smashes uh, on the 3DS would be a very nice addition. I don't think they should do that pay, uh, pay DLC though so probably just for that um, a patch or something that lets you select special smashes on the Nintendo 3DS version. But that would be those. Those would be everything. Uh, those would be all my predictions for this weekend's Smash Direct. Uh, it's only two days from now. Uh, stay tuned because I'll be covering Lucas as well as the Miiverse stage, hopefully. And um, that would be everything. I will also try to record a reactions video for that uh, direct because I am stoked. I am excited to get the E3 hype machine going and uh, as I said I'll be covering Sony uh, because I am super excited I will also have a different video I will upload a couple videos during the weekend one for Nintendo's predictions one for Sony's predictions and one for Square Enix's predictions which are three that are that I am the most excited about um, and th that's it so thank you guys so very much for watching uh, if you have any other ideas for what might be covered in this weekend's Nintendo Direct for Smash Brothers Make sure to leave them down in the comment section and uh, remember to give me a thumbs up rating for this video and to tell your friends about this and it really, it would really help me out and I would really, really appreciate it. So thank you so very much for watching this and listening to me ramble for about 12 minutes, 13 minutes and I will see you this Sunday for that Nintendo Direct as well as tomorrow for a brand new Let's Play. Later guys! Okay, so now I've finished the video already, so um, this is a couple of days later, and I'm kind of glad that I actually didn't release this, that, that it was supposed to come out, which was yesterday. But today, um, there was this update that went live in Japan early, like it went out a day early, and it brings Ryu and Roy as playable characters for Smash Bros. for Wii U, and I mean... Okay, I don't mind that I'm wrong about my predictions that uh, Ryu and Roy are not coming right now. They, if they're coming, they're coming later, or they're not just just not coming at all. But there's pretty good things like screenshots, and there's just like proof because the release came and people just data mined the thing. So it's um, Ryu, it's Roy, and there's some uh, more costumes, some based on Mega Man, some based on Animal Crossing, and I mean just... I don't know, I, I don't know what to say. I'm a little bit mad that things are getting leaked. First these uh, Hyrule Warriors for Nintendo 3DS leak by Koei Tecmo. And I don't know, I feel cheated about that uh, with the Wind Waker characters being on there and not on the Wii U version, and uh, I don't really want to buy another double versioned game, like, I already have both Smash Bros games, and I love them to death, but Hyrule Warriors, I love the Wii U game, but I wouldn't be as crazy as to spend another, well, for you guys, it's gonna be around 40 bucks, but for me, it's more like, ha, <laughs> 55 bucks for that one game on the 3DS, and I don't really want to spend all that much money just for a couple characters. And I don't think I will play the 3DS version just as much as I've played the Wii U one. And I've not played half of the Wii U game yet. Like, Adventure Mode, I haven't completed. And now, um, there's this leak about 
Smash Bros. And I'm like, well, what's the point of watching the Direct tomorrow? I mean, I guess they haven't talked about stages, but I mean, there was nothing about stages on the data mine, so why or what would they actually reveal about stages that would be exciting and or relevant right now if we have to wait some more time because it's not on the update that was released yesterday or right now on Japan. I mean, I don't know, I, I, I just, a li I'm just a little bit mad, so about the leaks, I would have been, it would have been way better to just see it tomorrow, um, so of course, that was a bummer, but oh well, Ryu and Roy confirmed for Super Smash Bros, Gabe Newell will release Half-Life 3, whatever, and uh, that's it. So thank you for watching guys, and I'll see you tomorrow for that reactions video and some more prediction videos. Later!